welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you an alternative to the bell siphon. I'm going to show you how to build it. I call it the floating siphon. It's pretty easy, very few materials required that you can get at your local hardware store. So why an alternative to the bell siphon? Most of you that have built a bell siphon, have used a bell siphon in aquaponics or hydroponics, uh, will have realized that it's quite temperamental. Sometimes it uh, works and sometimes it doesn't work. It all depends on the rate of inflow of water into the grow bed. If the flow of water is too fast, then the bell siphon will usually kick in, but it won't stop. Whereas if the flow of water into the plant grow bed is very slow, um, the bell siphon won't start. So you have to have a valve to control the inflow and get it perfectly right so that the bell siphon works every time. On small beds you can get away with it, but on big plant grow beds like we have at our system, uh, where the beds are about two to two and a half meters long by one meter wide, uh, bell siphons simply uh, don't work in the long term. Um, they will start and then they'll stop all of a sudden, and uh, hence we've had to change out a few of those bell siphons for floating siphons, and they've worked very well. Some of our customers have seen it and they have asked us to show them how to build it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a floating siphon. Why siphons in a plant grow bed? In a plant grow bed in aquaponics or hydroponics, you need to flood the grow bed and drain the grow bed um, in cycles. The idea for the flooding cycle is to hydrate the roots and the idea for the drainage is then to bring oxygen into the roots. If you have a media bed, a large media bed, the floating siphon is probably going to be the best for you. Let me show you the different components for the floating siphon. So you're going to need a electrical box with a lid and this one measures um, measures uh, 100 millimeters by 100 by 45 millimeters. You're going to need some flexi tube. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter flexi tube that I've managed to cut off a uh, water siphon that, uh, that we bought at a hardware, local hardware store. You can of course also use something like this. Um, this you can get as replacement for your washing machine flexi tube. It's quite stiff. Uh, I prefer something that is more flexible like this particular tube here. So that's probably going to be the most difficult part of the project for you to find a flexi tube. You're then going to need a piece of 25 millimeter pipe. That's going to be your down pipe. You're going to need another piece of pipe, 25 millimeter pipe, which will go inside the box and that's where the water will drain out. I'll explain everything later. You're going to need a 90 degree elbow, 25 millimeter, two 25 millimeter couplers, you're going to need some lead sinkers. Uh, we got this from a fish tackling shop. My daughter got this from a fish tackling shop. Yeah, it's line sinkers for, for while you're fishing. So this is going to be used as weights to help the box sink quicker to the bottom. And then in our case, uh, also two caps. We're going to put the weights in there and we're going to then put the caps over there and PVC glue it. And then you're going to need a 25 millimeter uni seal and you're going to need some PVC glue. You're also going to need a drill and if you can get one of these step drill bits. As you can see there the deeper you go the bigger the hole size gets. So we're going to drill a 25 millimeter in the box there. We're going to do a 32 millimeter hole on the grow bed for the uni seal. And we're also going to drill three 30 millimeter holes here. That's where the water is going to flow in to make this thing sink to the bottom. Uh, I'll explain how all that works. So let's start putting some of the items together. This is your downpipe. You get a 90 degree bend. Of course, you're going to glue it with PVC glue. You put your flexi pipe right. You're then going to get a coupler, 25 millimeter coupler. You are then going to get this pipe, a short piece of 25 millimeter pipe, and I've cut a 45 degree angle there. 
This is going to fit inside the box at the bottom. You're going to drill a hole there. Like that. So this is your down pipe. That'll go through your grow bed. You can add a uni seal there. Okay. Something like that. You can make this down pipe as long as you want to suit your needs. And now you have the basis of the system. So, so during the flood part of your grow bed, the floating siphon will float up, the box will float up like that. And when the flexi pipe reaches maximum extension, it can't go any further. Water will go into the box, down the pipe, and sink it down to the bottom. And when it sinks down, the water will escape down the pipe out of your grow bed and it will, the grow bed will drain. And then the cycle will repeat again. Flood, drain, flood, drain. So let's go about making the holes in the box now. So what I've done, I've made a marker there where I'm going to drill the 25 millimeter hole. That's for this pipe. It's gonna go inside there and sit like that. It's 25 millimeters or one inch, made provision for the three millimeter thickness of the box so that it doesn't cut into the bottom of the box here. So it should just be above the three millimeter uh, thickness of, of the bottom here. I've also done three markers on the lid where I'm going to drill three 30 millimeter holes. And the reason for these holes, this is where the water is going to flow into the box and then out the box via this pipe. And on the outside, we'll put a 25 millimeter coupler. We'll also glue that to the side. And that's it. The box is almost ready to go. Water will flow into the box, through there, out there, through the flexi pipe, down the grow bed. And now we're going to drill the holes, these three holes here. Of course, if you have a jigsaw cutter, you can make a nice rectangle, cut a rectangle out of here but I'm just going to do three holes, which will work just as well. It's always best to rest this on a vise or something um, so that you have better support. But in this situation, it's uh, not many holes, so we'll just take a chance. Like I said, water is going to go in there. and then fill up the box and escape through there, out the tube and out the plant grow bed. So now we are going to put the counterweight to help sink the box. You might not always need it if you have a heavy box, but with this one it's quite light. 
So we're going to do that. It's going to be opposite the hole, so on this side, yeah. And um, I'm just going to put some PVC glue on it. And we let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes before doing the rest. Now we're going to glue the exit pipe at the bottom there. Now you slide it in there. Your lid with holes there. Water's going to go in there, in there, out there, and that's your weight. We'll finish that just now. So now we have the box with the outlet that's being glued on. I'm sure you guys can do a better job than me with the glue. Um, Got to basically let it dry a little bit more. And then what you're going to do, you're going to glue the flexi pipe onto there. Now keep in mind that the longer you make the flexi pipe, the higher the level of flooding will be on your grow bed. So you have to size this flexi pipe according to the depth of your grow bed. My flexi pipe is about 15 centimeters long, and if I don't want it to flood too high, I'll just cut it shorter so that it can't flex too far up. The shorter the pipe, the shallower the flooding will be. And the longer the pipe, the deeper the flooding level will be on your grow bed. And then of course on this side you would glue it onto the bend. And that goes to your down pipe. That goes through the bottom of your grow bed. And out. Your box almost done. I just need to add the weights to there and it's as simple as that. Your floating siphon is complete, almost complete. Of course keep in mind that this is just the siphon. Your grow bed will be, your plant grow bed or your media bed will be filled with media such as stone or lacquer and for that you would then have to have, you have to have a box around your floating siphon so that the media does not go into your siphon. What we usually do, we, we get a crate, a plastic crate, and we put the plastic crate in the plant grow bed around the floating siphon, and that will prevent the gravel, the media, from interfering with the flow of your siphon. So what are the pros of the floating siphon? The pros of the floating siphon are that irrespective of the inflow, the floating siphon will always kick in. It will always start its cycle and end its cycle. It doesn't matter what the flow rate is, the incoming flow rate is into your grow bed. So that allows you also to control the length of the cycle. If you want a longer cycle or flooding cycle, you then adjust the inflow to be slow. If you want a faster flooding cycle, you would then adjust the inflow valve to maximum flow. So that's the main benefit. It will always start. It's not as temperamental as the bell siphon. The cons, you know, some haters will say, well, it takes up a lot of space in your grow bed. Um, and yes, it takes about two spaces for planting. You're going to lose out the space of maybe two letters, uh, which is not much. And if you really want it, you could mount this outside your grow bed, on the side of your grow bed, so it doesn't interfere with your planting area. But on a big grow bed like ours, you know, if we lose one or two uh, planting spots for letters, not a train smash. Okay, so now we're going to add the weights to there. I've got these three lead fishing line weights. They fit nicely in this cap. I'm going to feed it through there. I'm going to put this cap on top there. And there you are. We'll put some PVC glue there, PVC glue there to keep it in place. This weight is to help this box sink to the bottom during the drainage cycle, or for the drainage cycle to start. So the box will float up to a certain point where it can't anymore. Water will then 
flow through the holes into the box. It will weigh the box down, and with the help of these weights, the box will sink to the bottom. The water will flow out the outlet pipe, out the box, out the plant grow box, and your drainage cycle will start. When the water is completely drained out of the grow bed, this box will float up again, and your flooding cycle starts. So it will flood, drain, flood, drain, flood, drain. And it will keep on doing that for as long as there's water flowing into your plant grow bed. So pretty easy. You guys should be able to do this very quickly with materials from your local hardware store. So here you have the completed unit, the weight section there, the holes, the exit pipe, the flexi tube, the elbow going down to your downpipe, and uh, through the uni seal that's attached to your plant grow bed, and then out to your fish tank, wherever. And that's it. Simple as that. Complete float siphon, ready to be installed in your plant grow bed. Also keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a 25 millimeter or one inch pipe. You can make a siphon a 50 millimeter pipe. Um, of course, you'll need a bigger box, but yeah, if you've got a really, really big grow bed and you need more outflow, then um, use a 50 millimeter pipe throughout. You'll have to get a 50 millimeter flexi pipe, uh, 50 millimeter elbows, 50 millimeter pipes, and um, yeah, 50 millimeter fittings, two inch fittings. If your grow bed is up to two meters by one meter like ours, um, then the 25 millimeter pipe works perfectly. One inch pipe, perfect. If you have larger beds, go with a 50 millimeter. Well, I hope that was helpful. So I look forward to seeing uh, what your comments are once you've built uh, the floating siphon. Let me know how it goes. If you've got any questions, drop me a line and I will try and help where I can. Good luck building and let me know how it goes. <laughs>